Hello, everyone. Today for our mini lecture, I'm going to identify the potential learner constraints influencing locomotor skills. Uh, for this, I am going to specifically talk about the constraints that are in jumping. For starters, this is going to be broken up into our three different categories, which is going to be the individual, their environment, and then the task. So for the individual constraints, we're going to first see it in age. Uh, with this, it's kind of a linear progression. The older the kid gets, uh, the better the motor developments they're going to get with their locomotor skills. Uh, with the younger kid, we're obviously going to see some motor development delays just because not all of those motor development functions are there yet. Uh, then as well with gender, you can kind of see that uh, girls pick up different locomotor skills initially first. However, um, with running, we see that they develop it, that stage four skills faster than uh, the girls do. Typically the men do it in 48 months when the girls take uh, roughly 60. Then with hopping, we see that boys actually take a little bit longer that 90 month range while girls do it in 84 to reach that stage four. And then uh, with skipping again, boys take six months longer. And then lastly, the last individual constraint we see is BMI. And this one is actually inversely connected, meaning the heavier the child is, typically uh, the not as good they're going to do in that locomotion scale uh, for obvious reasons. Then we have the environment. So starting off, we have the uh, socioeconomic status. Um, as well as non-English speaking, which more so has to do with the actual geographic region. And to kind of just touch on this, we kind of see that the geographic region has the most to do with it. And that is, let's say that the region that the child is growing up with um, spends more time in sports such as basketball, then we would see their jumping uh, being a little bit better than, say, the geographic location when they're more um, prone to doing, let's say, like a running sport, then you would see those jumping locomotor skills being as good. And then lastly, we have the task, which is just their attentional focus. This, again, I would say is going to be kind of related to their age and how well they can focus on the task and how well they're um, attention span is kind of at. Thanks for listening, guys.